Hey friends, today I am hanging out at Disney Springs. I wanted to come down and see if there's anything new since the last time I was here, but also I wanted to come down to Disney Tales, the pet store here at the Springs. I'm looking to buy something fancy for my Dalmatian Gracie. She's currently recovering from a bite wound, and I thought it'd be nice to get her something once she's fully healed. So, let's go do this. One of the things I wanted to do was check out Amaretts. They always have amazing little like snacks in there and pastries and it's one of my favorite places just to grab a quick bite. So maybe we'll see if they got anything fancy going on in there. This is also where they sell the WandaVision cake, which officially has ended. And I watched the last episode this morning and I loved it. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of the end of the series. It was such a great show. Looks like they're all sold out of the WandaVision cakes, but they do have this flan kachu. Flan kachu. I don't know if I said that right or not, but all of these desserts are amazing. I was really looking forward to that WandaVision cake, but they said they sell them very quick. So uh, I guess that's the end of it. I don't know if they're going to be making any more. The flan kachu looked very interesting, but they kind of make it like a creme brulee right there. So I was going to get something and just take it with me. And maybe I might stop back for that, but that's best to be eaten right away because they like caramelize the top like with a blowtorch and everything like that. So maybe we'll come back after we do a little shopping. I think I'm going to take this opportunity and hop right into the world of Disney because there is no line. They have the front entrance doors like open so you can just walk in. This is the first time that I've been to the Springs and I've seen this. Usually I have to wait or join a virtual queue, but not today. I had to just walk in here. The Disney Tales store isn't actually in the world of Disney, it's in the co-op next door, but there's still always amazing things to find in the world of Disney. And they even have like an I Love My Disney Dog collection. And I definitely need to get this. I love my Disney dog photo frame. And I put a little picture of Gracie in there. Oh, this is so amazing. It's they do actually have a couple of men's things. Like they have a four pair of Disney dog socks. And then they have this hat that says more Disney, more dogs. And then this one sweatshirt. This can be guys or girls or anybody. And it's Disneyland Resort. And it actually has a Dalmatian on it. This one's nice. I actually like this. Oh, they have a Walt Disney World one up there too. That's funny that they have a Disneyland version and then a Walt Disney version. Very interesting. They also do have a lot of Disney cat merchandise. Now, just because I have a dog doesn't mean I'm not a cat person. It's just right now I currently don't have a cat, but I do like cats, but I love my dog. So that's why I focus on that. But I'm going to show you guys some of the cat stuff because I can't leave out the cats. They got little kitty collars, and this is really cool, a cat toy. Oh, the furriest one of all. I might want to get this for Gracie. We'll have to come back to that. I also like the dishes too. These actually have Dalmatians on it. Life is a walk in the park. Other than all the fancy pet stuff, I am also looking for a new shirt to wear in the park. Maybe a spirit jersey, maybe a Tommy Bahama. I've never owned a Tommy Bahama, but I, I, I plan on getting one one day. It depends. I feel like I need to find the perfect one. But also any other stuff that's for sale here in the world of Disney because I love shopping around here. These are those fancy Tommy Bahama shirts. I think they're like $130. They're very nice, comfortable shirts. I've uh, never gotten one before, but I'm gonna get one. I just wanna wait till I you know, find the perfect one. I do like the Polynesian themed ones, but they also have a lot of really cool Nightmare Before Christmas merchandise. And it's so funny that it's right next to each other. Like they have all of this stuff and then a really cool Nightmare Before Christmas one. This one's Walt Disney World, look at this. I like this shirt a lot actually. And it's got Jack on the sleeves and then Sally on the sleeves. This one seems really fun. The Nightmare Before Christmas long sleeve shirt is $40 and I was like, oh, well we have 30% off because they give an annual pass holders an additional 10% off, but that ended yesterday. I am such, I am like a day late. I could have just saved a couple extra bucks, especially if I plan on buying a lot of things today, but still 20% off is great. Beggars can't be choosers. 
Another thing I'm really liking is this new Walt Disney World like font. You see it on a lot of the different apparels like this sweatshirt over here. And then I'm pretty sure there was some uh, t-shirts over on this side. And it's like kind of like a 90s vibe I feel like. Let me see. Oh yeah. Doesn't that kind of remind you like of uh, like video, like music video vibe? This is really nice. I love anything with like that retro Walt Disney World logo. I think it's really cool and that's the stuff I normally tend to get, but I would definitely buy in on the 90s like logo, like the video Rama <laughs> font. It's really fancy stuff. But now I think I'm gonna head on over to the co-op, look around like at Disney Tales and then there's a lot of other good stores over there. So we'll probably find a lot more. Here is the Marketplace Co-op and the crowd seems so low today. It's the weekend. I can't even believe it. For weeks on end there, I couldn't even get into the Springs. They always hit capacity on the weekends. And then today, there's not even a line at the World of Disney. I'm lucking out. One of my favorite places to check out in the co-op is the Wonderground Gallery because they always have amazing artwork in there. And since the Festival of the Arts officially ended, maybe we would be able to find some of those pieces that were at the festival that are no longer available for purchase. You never know what you can find over here. Disney Springs is also celebrating Women's History Month with some of the legends from Disney, including Mary Blair right here. If you guys aren't familiar with Mary Blair and her work on the small world or the mural that's in the contemporary, she was very, very well liked and she did such amazing work for Walt Disney and the company itself. And then they have a couple more over here like Rita Scott, Ruthie Thompson. This is really awesome. I like that you can actually learn a little bit. They have a couple of pieces I would love to buy for my house. It's just really cool artwork and some of it really pops out at you. Like I'm looking at some stuff and I'm like, is that 3D? But it's not, it's just really good at popping out. Also take a look at this Bambi and Mother one and it kind of looks like they're layered, doesn't it? so well but it's just a flat service this is 20 of 95 and it's limited edition and it's only 195 dollars these are really good deals but now let's see what they got for my little gracie girl always such amazing things in here and normally they have things that aren't over in the world of disney or in different other shopping stops they have a little monorail chew toy right here this seems very nice she probably would destroy that in seconds. And then some Mickey Squeak toy sets. Oh, and then I was also thinking about maybe getting her a pair of ears. She doesn't have any ears and I think all girls should at least own a pair of ears. What do you think, rose gold maybe? I wonder if they have any other different styles. They do have like the blue Make-A-Wish ear set, but I think I might just get her those rose gold like pink ears. I think she really might like those a lot. And then they have all of the mini and polka dot sets. Little dog socks. Look at this. A mini bow feeding mat. This is some good stuff. Oh, this pole toy right here. She would like that a lot. I think I should just stick to the ears though. Logan, look at that down there. I decided on just going with the ears. I want to see her have ears and I think it was really nice. And I think she'll actually wear them and like them. With my annual pass, it was only $12. So the dogs get the cheap ears. I mean, in the stores for regular people, it's like 30 bucks. So lucky for them, they're getting the cheap ears. I think I want to grab something to eat, but I'm not sure what I want to get. I have a couple of places in mind. Maybe I'll check to see if they got anything new at those locations first. Since I might be having dinner later on, I don't want to get a full meal, just a quick snack. And one of the places I've never actually eaten before, and that's BB Wolf Sausage Company. And sometimes they have special like sausages, so maybe we'll see if they got anything fancy going know, on for March. It doesn't look like they rolled out any new sausages or dogs. They still have the Mardi Gras smoked craw dog, a smoked andouille sausage, crawfish, lemon caper aioli, and then Creole pepper sauce on a roll. It sounds amazing, but I want to see if there's anything new, you know? I want to be up to date on the hip stuff. This isn't an actual thing I can eat for like a quick lunch, but this is something that caught my attention. The Wonder Made Gourmet Marshmallows. Never heard of this. So now I'm going to take a peek-see. Oh, they have bourbon marshmallows? 
Wait, what is going on here? Four ounces, a perfect amount for eating 16 marshmallows with a bourbon flavor. They also have stout beer and then salted caramel birthday cake. What is this sorcery? These marshmallows look absolutely amazing. And I've seen they have a s'mores one and they also have a gold champagne marshmallow one. And you can see inside the box. At first, I was a little like confused because when you see it the way that they are like in the box, you don't think of marshmallows, but the way that they're actually presented, they look amazing. Take a look at those. They're all cubed up like that. And they look fancy. That's the gold champagne one. I think I actually might get the s'mores one. That one looks probably like the most that I would like on the back it shows you how they're actually like inside the box this one is half chocolate and then they're actually uh, coated with graham crackers so it's almost like eating a s'mores without a fire I ended up buying the s'mores one actually he told me Martha Stewart actually buys these marshmallows or her favorite marshmallows and the same thing with Justin Bieber and stuff so it's nice that Disney Springs is bringing in like a kind of like smaller business like that guy in there is the owner and this has been here since December so only about three months old and uh, who doesn't love marshmallows now I have some that we can snack on why we find something to actually eat for lunch like a little lunch dessert I actually I think I might want to get myself a slice of pizza it's been a while since I've been to Pizza Ponte and they have one of my favorite slices at Walt Disney World I think that sounds like a plan let's go grab a slice of pizza from Pizza Ponte and eat our marshmallows and kind of just hang out and relax for a moment it's starting to get uh, sunset time so it's gonna start looking very beautiful here I always love Disney Springs during a sunset I don't know why maybe it's the hot air balloon or it's just all the different buildings but it always looks amazing have you guys ever had the pizza here before? I have and I love it. It's either here via Napoli and also California Girl has a pretty good pizza, but those are my favorite pizzas at Walt Disney World. If you guys know of any others, let me know, but this is it for me. Look at all the amazing pizzas here and they sell it all by the slice. They have regular square pizzas that have tons of amazing toppings on them. And then of course they've got the big Roman round slices. These pizzas are huge. That's one slice right there for $6.95. That's not too shabby at all. They also have salads and desserts, some tiramisu and cannoli, all the things you love to see in a pizza shop. I decided to come outside and eat. I went with the pepperoni Big Roman. These slices are so huge and for $7.25 you can get the pepperoni slice and one slice is definitely enough to get full. I mean, they were the size of my head. Like legit, I'm gonna try to show you. The size of my head. <laughs> Look at that. It's also really important to show the undercarriage here because look at that. Perfect, right? That is a good slice of pizza. That is a good base. A little bit of a flop, not too bad. It's not like a New York flop flop, and plus it's a very big slice. So we're just gonna dive in. One bite, everyone knows the rules. One bite. What's the score? What's the score? Eight six. <laughs> Much too good for crows. Go on, get. <laughs> but eight six. That's really good. If you guys know, you know. I love it. This is such a great pizza. Honestly, I'm so happy that I found it a while back. I remember I went on kind of like a uh, quest to find the best pizza in Disney. Via Napoli is up there, I'll tell you that right now. But this is really, really close for my number one spot, I would say. I don't know of any other ones that are just like so authentic and just like perfectly made. Now that we've actually taken care of the pizza business, it's time to move on to the marshmallow business and take a look at these marshmallows. How fancy is this? The packaging just already makes them like fancy marshmallows. They come in a little bag like this and there's quite a few of them in there, 16 of them. And you can see the graham cracker dusting and then the chocolate. These are gonna be so delicious. I can't wait to try one. World's greatest marshmallows, they say. Well, we're gonna we're gonna test that out right now. Yeah. 
That is so amazing. I can concur right now. I have never had a better marshmallow than this marshmallow right here. I can honestly say to me, this is the world's best marshmallow because I've never had any better. This is so good. What a genius idea. I'm also so intrigued to see what it would be like to actually put these on fire and like roast them. That's gonna be amazing. I have to save them and like find a way to like maybe get a fire like in my apartment or something like that just so I can roast them. I don't wanna use the stove. I always heard that you can't make s'mores on the gas stoves because then you get all the chemicals in it. I've learned that from experience by my mom telling me don't eat that because you're gonna get gas chemicals all in your marshmallows, which I used to do all the time anyway. I needed to move along because I would have probably eaten all those marshmallows and I do want to save some just so I can see what it's like to maybe roast them and also give some to my friends. But look at that. I love seeing the Disney Springs balloon actually come landing down. It's so amazing. I don't know what they call it now, Aerofadal or something like that. It used to be characters in flight but they have changed it since then. Oh, you can actually see one of the Ampia cars in the background there too. There's a lot happening in this picture. There is one more store I want to stop at over here that has a really good selection of different clothing items and it's kind of their own thing. A lot of people don't know this but Disney style actually has select merchandise that can only be found in this store. So I always like to just take a peek see to see if they got anything good going on. I actually already see something that I like already. That's what you call window shopping. When you spot something from the outside and you're like I'm gonna get that. Look at these sweatshirts and shirts. I like them so much. They have like that faint Walt Disney World and Mickey symbol. Look at this one. Your pal Mickey Mouse on the bottom there. And then they have a green one back here. This is the one I seen outside that I was like, this looks really nice. I'm gonna try to pick it up and it's got the D right on the front there. And then on the back, it says Walt Disney World. Now I think I'm gonna actually head home and give Gracie her ears. I'm so excited. I hope she likes them. I mean, I think she's gonna like them. I think she will. And I'm gonna show you guys and give you a little peek on how she's doing. She's probably very happy right now. She's uh, been doing a lot better. The cone was a little difficult, but uh, she's getting used to it. And we got a little pillow for her, but I'll show you. I'll show you all of it. Oh, Gracie. Where are you? There she is! <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> you wanna go for a walk? Who wants to go for a walk? You wanna go for a walk? Who? Who wants to go for a walk? <laughs> okay, what? Thank you. As you can see, she is doing much, much better. Her staples come out in uh, two days. Two days, and then we can get rid of the pillow and the cone. She's gonna be so happy. And now, uh, I guess we give her her gifts. Oh, I got her a bonus gift too. I can't wait to show you what else I got her. These are her ears, are you ready? Here you go. Oh my lord, look at you. What a princess. <laughs> what a little princess. Who's me little princess? Ooh. Should I put the ears? I don't know if I should put her ears like behind her ears. Wait, maybe like this and then pull them up. No, that, that can't be the way. It must be just like this. Sorry, Grady girl. <laughs> yes, 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 you. Oh. <laughs> I am not too sure how she feels about those ears. But the only reason she's not running around is she can smell the Sprinkles cupcake I got for her. Yep, they make cupcakes. Dogs love cupcakes too. It says it right on the sticker. How awesome is that? So we're gonna give her a little treat. You deserve it. Yes. Oh, oh look at the little tail. <laughs> you want this? You want this? Who's a good girl? Who's a pretty princess? She's probably super embarrassed and it's like, Dad, knock it off. Dad, stop it, you're embarrassing me. I can see her the way she's looking at me too right now. She's giving me looks. She is literally giving me such a horrific stare. Look at that. She is mad. Do you not like the ears? I know how to make her feel a little bit better though. <gasps> you want this? That's yours. You want the cupcake? 
Go ahead, it's yours. Yes. Oh. I think she likes it. You like it, don't you? Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. I don't think Gracie likes her ears, so we're not gonna force that except for when we want pretty pictures, which might be a couple times. <laughs> she does look good with the ears on, you have to admit. And I think she enjoyed that cupcake. She ate it pretty quick. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.